researchers have discovered how ancient Roman concrete was so durable. Through laboratory tests and field study, researchers believe they have unlocked the secrets of Roman concrete. The ancient Romans were masters of building and engineering, perhaps most famously represented by the aqueducts. And those still functional marvels rely on a unique construction material, potsolanic concrete, a spectacularly durable concrete that gave Roman structures their incredible strength. Even today, one of their structures, the Pantheon, still intact and nearly 2,000 years old, holds the record for the world's largest dome of unreinforced concrete. The long lasting durability, Strength and decorative significance of this concrete has been attributed to the following ingredients volcanic ash or pozzolana. Named so after the Italian city of Pozzuoli, where a significant deposit of it can be found, and lime. When mixed with water, pozzolana and lime will react to produce strong concrete. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the video, click that subscribe button for me. Growing the channel and providing a source for information is one of our goals. Thanks for watching with us. The international team of researchers was led by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They found that not only are the materials slightly different, but the techniques used to mix them also differed from popular belief. The controversial indicators were small, white chunks of lime that can be found in what seems to be otherwise well mixed concrete. The presence of these chunks had previously been attributed to poor mixing techniques, or less than suitable materials. That theory did not make sense to the team of researchers. The idea that the presence of these lime clasts was simply attributed to low quality control has always bothered the scientific community. If the Romans put so much effort into making an outstanding construction material, following all of the detailed recipes that had been optimized over the course of many centuries, then why would they put so little effort into ensuring the production of a well-mixed final product? If you're still with us from the beginning, keep watching. There is more to this story. One of the teams, led by a MIT civil engineer, carefully studied 2,000-year-old samples of Roman concrete from the archaeological site of Privernum in Italy. These samples were subjected to large area scanning. Electron microscopy and energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy powder x-ray diffraction, and confocal Raman imaging. The team of researchers deployed multiple tools to gather as much data as possible, hoping to gain a better understanding of the lime class and their unique physical properties. One of the questions in mind was the nature of the lime used. The popular understanding of potsolanic concrete was that it uses slaked lime. First, limestone is heated at high temperatures to produce a highly reactive caustic powder called quicklime or calcium oxide. Mixing quicklime with water produces slaked lime, or calcium hydroxide, a slightly less reactive, less caustic paste. According to theory, it was this slaked lime that ancient Romans mixed with the pozzolana. Based on analysis, the lime class in their samples are not consistent with this method. Rather, Roman concrete was probably made by mixing the quicklime directly with the pozzolana and water at extremely high temperatures either by itself, or in addition to slake lime, a process the team has dubbed hot mixing, and resulting in these lime clasts. The benefits of hot mixing are twofold. First, when the overall concrete is heated to high temperatures, it allows chemistries that are not possible if you only use slake lime. Without achieving the high temperatures, the associated compounds would not otherwise form. Second, the increased temperature significantly reduced curing and setting times, since all the reactions are accelerated. This also allows for a much faster construction process, allowing the Romans to complete many of their projects ahead of schedule. Moving on to the next project to create the empire we remember today. Still watching? Stay with us. It's about to get very interesting. The most amazing thing about the Potsolanic concrete is that the lime clasts give the concrete remarkable, self-rejuvenating abilities. When cracks form in the concrete, they prefer to travel along these lime clasts in the mixture. The clasts have a lower density and higher surface area than the other particles in the matrix. When water gets into these cracks, it reacts with the lime to form a solution rich in calcium. This paste eventually dries and hardens as calcium carbonate. 
essentially gluing the crack back together and preventing it from spreading any further. This has been observed in concrete from another 2,000-year-old site, the tomb of Cecilia Metella, where cracks in the concrete have been filled with calcite. It could also explain why Roman concrete from seawalls built 2,000 years ago has survived intact for millennia despite the ocean's constant battering. So, the team tested their findings by making pozzolanic concrete from ancient and modern recipes using quicklime. They also made a control concrete without quicklime and performed crack tests. Sure enough, the cracked quicklime concrete was fully healed within two weeks, but the control concrete stayed cracked. The team is currently working on commercializing their concrete as a more environmentally friendly alternative to the current concrete mix designs. It's exciting to think about how these more durable concrete formulations could expand the service life of these materials. Changing the industry and the operating principles, cement masons live by. As a fourth generation cement mason, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Leave us a comment if you're a concrete guy. We would love to hear from you. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, have a wonderful day.